Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. We give God all glory, honor, and praise for this fourth uh, day of October 2020 of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. First Sunday of October, which is also uh, our communion Sunday. So we will be having communion here in a few minutes, saints. But um, I just want to say I'm, I'm grateful and I thank God that we have this chance to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. As most of you know, uh, uh, our own Pox ourselves, we lost our, our beloved brother Phil Pox um, this week, amen. And so I'm just asking you in the home going of our own brother Bobby Phil Pox that you keep your family lifted up in prayer. We also have our own um, uh, Johnson family, brother uh, Stephen and sister Lachey, they're, they are traveling today because of uh, loss of a loved one, the home going of his sister, amen, Karen Johnson. So uh, let's, let's lift both these families up in prayer, petition uh, God on their behalf, amen. God will comfort um, their hearts, amen. We give God all glory, honor, and praise because surely he's able, amen. The Bible proclaims in John, the 14th chapter, Jesus told the disciples, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. He said, in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. To God be the glory. We thank God for truly he is amazing. Amen. Um, well, saints, uh, as we prepare ourselves for communion today, amen, before we go into this word of God, I want you to take this time, amen, and whatever you need to put before God, please do it at this moment. You know, the Bible says that many of us, uh, uh, um, to paraphrase, many of us are in trouble because we don't do right when it comes to the Lord's uh, supper. So uh, let, let's let's go before God and, 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 and give God what you owe him, amen, uh, uh, repent, ask for forgiveness, whatever you got to do to get it right with God. Take a moment to do that at this time. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Well, saints, in 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, amen, Paul begins to speak to the Corinthian church. As he speaks to the Corinthian church, he says this. He says, um, Wherefore, what whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. He says, but, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Amen. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. He says, For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Amen. So that's according to the, the word of the Lord. Amen. Uh, let us pray. God, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We thank you now, God, for this wonderful opportunity to be partakers of, of Holy Communion, God. We thank you that it represents what Jesus the Christ has done for us, allowed us to have a relationship and fellowship with you, the Father. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for us. We ask now, God, that these sacraments, God, that they be cleansed, purged, sanctified in your name. And as we take them, God, we will always do it in remembrance of what your Son and you have done for us. In the name of Jesus, we do pray this prayer. Let the church say amen, amen, and amen. In 1 Corinthians 11, chapter, uh, in verse number 22, Paul says, He said, I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Bible says in the 21st, 25th verse, after the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We here at the people of God's trust church, we like, we like to do that first because it sets the tone and gets us ready to receive. 
the word of God. Well, saints, uh, uh, talking about the word of God, if you would, in Exodus, the 34th chapter, amen. Exodus, the 34th chapter. When you're there, say it, amen. 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 God be the glory. Exodus, the 34th chapter, amen. Um, for your reading, I'm beginning at verse number 27. In verse 27, it simply said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He did not neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tab tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses went not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with them. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. And afterward, all the children of Israel came nigh. And he gave them in commandment all that the Lord has spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Amen. To God be the glory. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to go into thy word, God. I pray now, God, by, by thy spirit, God, that will grant unto us thy wisdom, thy knowledge, thy power, thy understanding, thy counsel, thy might, God. Uh, let the anointing of the living Lord fall afresh, not only upon us, God, but come on in and occupy us, God. Open our eyes that we may see, God. Open our ears that we may hear what thus said the word of the Almighty God. And may we be so careful, God, to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise for it all. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. Well, the book of Exodus is the second book of the Bible. Amen. It contains 40 chapters, uh, about 1,200 verses, over 32,000 words. 1,089 verses of history, 129 verses of prophecy fulfilled, two verses of unfulfilled prophecies, 58 questions, 827 commands, 240 predictions, and 28 promises. Its purpose is to continue the history of Israel in fulfillment of the covenant, the promises and the prophecies given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob concerning their seed to show the time, circumstances, and purpose of the law given to Moses to Israel, and to record the organization of the nation and the establishment of a visible form of worship with God dwelling in the midst of his people. Amen. To God be the glory. Well, saints, um, before I give you this title, amen, over the years, amen, the decades and centuries, the, the enemy has been very good at taking something positive and turning it into something derogative uh, uh, that triggers evil thoughts and, and perhaps evil thoughts and behaviors in people. Well, this week, the Holy Ghost began to deal with me in the aspect of taking back some of those things, amen. So today, I'm going to start with my title or the subject of this text, amen, and, and if you would tell somebody, even if you have to tell yourself, uh, just full of it, just amen. full of yeah, it, yeah, tell somebody, just full of it, just full of amen. it, amen, now, now I know back in the day, and even in today's society, if you told somebody, uh, they just full of it, amen, we had a, a, a it came with a certain notion of what they was telling you, <laughs> they were really telling you, you, you wasn't about nothing, what you was talking about wasn't about nothing, some of y'all come back, cause some of y'all done drifted off to what you really used to say, amen, see, <laughs> see, that's what the devil does, amen, he'll take something that, that can, that's positive, and he'll turn it into a, a negative thing, so, so, so I just need you to tell yourself, just Full of it, amen. Yes, and if you just go with me for a while here, for a moment, amen, uh, 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 it'll get a little clearer as we go, amen. Well, to, to, to God be the glory, amen. Even the Bible tells us, even by what we say and what we do, amen, that, that uh, uh, we should be positive about it. In Romans, the 12th chapter, verse number two, he said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, 
that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. See, uh, God himself is saying when we renew our minds uh, uh, just on this uh, uh, just on this topic alone, amen, just on just full of it, amen, we're going to renew your mind so that you can see it in, in a positive manner that, that's going to uh, uh, be a blessing uh, in the will of God, amen. Even in the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 29, it said, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, oh. but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. So, so today, amen, just full of it, it's going to minister some grace. Somebody say amen. 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 Well, uh, if we're going to understand where I'm going this morning, let's examine the text here. Amen. See, in Genesis, amen, this is where the children of Israel uh, uh, have been delivered um, from Pharaoh. Amen. Uh, if we were to go to the, the fourth I mean, the 24th chapter, amen, of, of Exodus, we will find Moses and his little entourage, amen. They, they're going to go up into the Mount of Sinai, but, but the entourage can only go so far, amen, and they have to stay where they are. And, 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 and the minister of Joshua was able to go a little farther with Moses, but even Joshua himself had to go only a certain distance, and he couldn't go no further. Okay. Amen. So, so in this journey, Amen. Uh, 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 Moses is with God for forty days and for forty nights in in the twenty fourth chapter of Genesis. Amen. And in this uh twenty fourth, I mean Exodus. In this um twenty fourth chapter of Exodus. Uh, uh, here they are. They've gone to Mount Sinai, and, and Moses has gone on up a, a little further, and, and Moses is now with God. And, and while Moses is with God, God is, is ministering to Moses. He's giving Moses the law and what Moses should do and what he uh, the people should do and how they should conduct themselves. And, and God is giving all this here on to Moses, Amen, and and, and Moses is is, is is getting everything that God wants him to have, Amen, and and this is in the twenty fourth chapter of of Exodus, Amen, and and as we go on, Amen, uh, 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 there's a noise that's heard down in the camp, Amen, and and in the camp around the thirty second chapter, Amen, this this is uh, uh where uh God tells Moses. He said, you need to go on back down there. He said, because your folks have started to corrupt themselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, from uh, chapter 24 on up to 32, God and Moses have been having fellowship, and God has been giving Moses a word. Amen. But I'm going to go back a little bit here because I want y'all to see some of what I'm saying. If You're going to get uh, uh, the meaning of what I'm where I'm going. In the 24th uh, chapter of Exodus, amen, amen. Uh, Verse number nine, it said, Then went up Moses and Aaron and Nadab and Abihu and 70, and 70 of the elders of Israel. Amen. And so, so Moses had a little entourage with him when it when started off going up to Mount Sinai. Amen. And, 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 and after a moment there, amen, they could only go so far. Mm -hmm. Amen. To God be the glory. Because in verse 13 through 18, it said, and Moses rose up and his minister Joshua and Moses went up into the mount of God. And he said unto the elders, tarry ye here for us until we come again unto you. Amen. Mm -hmm. So so they can only go so far. Mm -hmm. Amen. So from 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31, we get over to the 32nd chapter of Exodus. Mm -hmm. And when we get to the 32nd chapter of Exodus, amen, glory, have mercy, uh, God is still speaking to Moses, and in the 31st chapter, he's speaking to Moses, and, and he goes on, and he finished giving Moses what he wants Moses to have, amen, but, but somewhere in the 32nd verse, amen, I mean, the 32nd chapter of Exodus, uh, the people began to corrupt themselves, amen, that's what the word said, let me, let me prove it to you, in Exodus, the 32nd chapter, amen, God told Moses, amen, uh, that the people were beginning to 
corrupt themselves and he need to go on back down to the people. Because in the seventh verse of the 32nd chapter of Exodus, it said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down, for thou people which thou brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Amen. Because the people in the first verse kept saying, well, we don't know what happened to this guy Moses that, that brought us out, but but Aaron, we need you to uh, make us some, some 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 little G's, amen, some little God, so so that they can, you know, point us on to where we need to go. Amen. So, so we get to this point here, amen, in the 32nd chapter of Exodus, and, and, and Moses comes down, amen, and and while Moses is coming down the mountain, amen, uh, but before he gets there, uh, I need to go back a little bit because before Moses get there, him and God had another conversation. And God pretty much told Moses, you know, uh, uh, those folk down there, they, they, I done got tired of my, my anger's build up, my wrath, and I'm about to go head on and take them out. And God said, uh, uh, and Moses asked God, he said, God, well, God, if you do that, since you brought us out of Egypt, if, 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 if you go ahead on and do that, people going, what, what, what the people going to say? Amen. You took us out of Egypt just to, to bring us over here so that you can, 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 can kill them. And, and the Bible said that God repented of his wrath. Amen. And, and since God repented of his wrath, amen, he, he allowed Moses to go on down and, and see the people. Amen. And, and when Moses got down, amen, as he was coming down, Moses and Joshua had a conversation called, here he is, Moses get to Joshua, his minister. Amen. And and uh, and Joshua said, man, I, I hear a noise, like a noise of war down at the camp. And Moses said, no, there's not a, a, a noise of war. Amen. And it, it ain't a noise like somebody hurting somebody or somebody that got hurt. He said, come on, we need to go on down here and check on the noise. So, so in the 32nd chapter, this is where Moses gets to the people, amen. And, and this is after Aaron then, then made a, a, a golden cap, then took the folks earrings and all the gold, and he then made this cap. Anyway, well, let, let me stop right there for a moment. I need to take a, a side note to the leaders, amen. Uh, leaders, take ownership of what you do, amen. Don't, don't be like Aaron, because after a while, Aaron, he did it for the people, and, and he made the cap. But when Moses came, Aaron talking about in verse 24 of the 32nd chapter, look at what Aaron said. He said, I said unto them, whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave uh, it me. Then I cast it into the fire and there came out this cap. Uh, <laughs> it came earlier in the text. It tells us that Aaron formed this cap himself. Amen. He took a tool and formed out the cap. But over in the 24th verse, all of a sudden now that the man of God has come back, here you are now. All you got talking about, it just came out. Ain't nothing just came out. Amen. Just like leaders, you just don't make decisions and then talk about put it on somebody else. No, you take ownership of what you've done. Amen. Oh, uh, that's just a side note. Amen. I'm, I'm going to go on. Amen. In the name <laughs> of Jesus. But but here Moses is now, amen, and, and Moses has to deal with the people, amen, and, and Moses comes down, and now Moses gets a little perturbed now because he sees what the people have done. And the Bible said that Moses, uh, he comes down and he tells them, he said, uh, who's on the Lord's side? Step over here, amen. And, and after they made this division, amen, the Bible said that the, 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 that the Levites, amen, Moses gave them the honor of going down through the camp and and destroying those that were not with God. And, and the Bible tells us in the 28th verse uh, of the 32nd of 32nd chapter of Exodus that about 3,000 men got killed that day. Mm. Uh, 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 saints, I'm just going to simply put it this way. Sin can cost you. Amen. Uh, 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now we get here. Amen. And, and this is where the story really uh, begins to uh, reveal itself. Uh, in the 34th verse, I mean 34th chapter, in verse 33, let me slow down a little bit. In chapter 33 of Exodus, uh, uh, everything has been put on a, a calm uh, level. The order has been restored. Everything is, is in its place. And, and so now we get to chapter 34. And in chapter 34, amen, Moses has to go back to the mountain because God has summoned him, amen. And, and now Moses uh, uh, has been 
uh, uh, summoned by God. And, and God tells Moses, hey, bring, bring the tablets when you come. Chew out um, two tablets because I'm going to do some things while you are here. Amen. So, so now that gets us to this aspect of the story. Amen. Moses had been with God and God has rewritten the things that he wrote the first time. Amen. Uh, 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 he even tell Moses, he's a bring me two tablets. Uh, he's a cause you broke the other two. Amen. When, when you went back down there with the, with the people. Amen. He said, bring me two more tablets. I'm going to write everything again. I'm going to give it to you again, Moses. So, so Moses goes to see God. Amen. And, and while Moses is there seeing God, God does all these great and wonderful things. And, and then Moses returns. Amen. In the 27th um, verse of Exodus, the 34th chapter. And it said, and the Lord said unto Moses, write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee in Israel. And, 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 and watch this here now. Amen. Glory be to God. It said, and he was there with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights. He did not neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant and the ten commandments. Amen. Somebody say, just full of it. Amen. Just see, full of it. See, uh, in the 29th verse, and it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand. When he came down from the mount, that Moses wished not that his skin of his face shone while he talked with them. Oh, glory. Have mercy. Amen. Uh, uh, and then it goes on. To say, and when in the 30th verse, and when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. Oh, let's let's get into the text now. Amen. Glory be to God. Somebody say, just full of it. Amen. See, um, uh, uh, there is something has changed between Moses and God. Amen. Something has caused their, their relationship. The change. You say, well, Pastor, I, I don't see that because uh, God's still talking to Moses. God is still dealing with Moses. But, but this time, it's a little different. Amen. See, when Moses went up in the 24th chapter, amen, uh, uh, him and his entourage were allowed to eat. Amen. And to drink according to the word of God, if you go back and read those chapters. Amen. And, uh, but here in the 34th chapter, amen, Moses has been alone with God uh, for 40 days and for 40 nights. And, and not only has he been there for 40 days and 40 nights, amen, uh, uh, he's been 40 days of fasting. Amen. No water, no bread, no nothing but communion and fellowship with God. Amen. If you want your relationship with God to change, amen, you're going to have to learn to push away from the table. Amen. We got folks that are going on, a, on fasting, but, but, but they're fasting for the wrong reasons. Amen. We're fasting because we want to look good on the outside. Amen. But, but we've done nothing to change what's happening on the inside. Amen. We fast to lose five pounds here. We fast to lose 10 pounds here. We fast to lose 30 pounds here. Amen. But if you really want to fast, uh, go on a spiritual fast. Amen. Because in the spiritual fast, you can lose five pounds of flesh, but gain five pounds of spiritual wellness. Amen. You can lose 30 pounds on the outside, but gain 30 tremendous pounds spiritually if you take the time to go on a fast that's spiritual and not just fleshly. So, glory, hammer. So, here, 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 uh, Moses is. He, he comes down from the mountain. Amen. He's been with God 40 days and 40 nights. He hasn't eaten. He hasn't drink. Amen. He, he's only just been time fellowshipping with the most high God. Amen. And, and, and to the point that now when he comes down, amen, uh, the people see Moses totally different. Oh, amen. Nice. Uh, he has a look on him that's totally different. Amen. He has a glow that's unbelievable and, and he is glowing in such a, a manner that the people are afraid to get nigh him. People are afraid to even say anything to him. Amen. Glory. Have mercy. See, see Moses, now he's just full of it. Amen. He, he's just full of the grace of God. He's just full of God's goodness. He's just 
full of love. He's just full of joy. He's just full of peace. He's just full of long suffering. He's just full of gentleness. He's just full of meekness. He's just full of faith. He's just full of goodness. He's just full of temperance. He's just full of holiness. He's just full of righteousness. He's just full of the Holy Ghost. He's just full of candor. He's just full in God. Amen. See, some of us, amen, uh, uh, even though we've got the Holy Ghost, amen, we, we've become stagnated, amen. And, and what I mean when we're stagnated, we, we cease to develop, amen. Oh. We become inactive or dull, amen, spiritually, that is. Uh, we go to all the church functions, all the, the services that the church has. Some of us even participate in the choir. Some of us are on different boards. Amen. And we, and whatever we ask to do, we do it. But, but yet, uh, we're not moving forward spiritually. We, we, we're in the same old place. We, we look the same. Amen. Oh, we do the same things we've been doing for years. And, and, and we often wonder, why am I still at this place? Amen. I got the Holy Ghost, but it doesn't seem like nothing's moving in my life. You become stagnated simply because you, uh, when you go and get in the presence of God, you don't want to fast. Amen. You think because you got the Holy Ghost, uh, you don't need anything else. But I stopped by to tell you, the word of God don't change because you got the Holy oh, Ghost. God. Amen. Even Jesus told the disciples they got to fast. Amen. Even in the book of Acts, if you look at the disciples, they were fasting. Why? Because they knew that fasting brought their relationship with God to a new level, a new degree. Amen. If you want to be like Moses and have something about you, then when you enter into the presence of people, amen. Oh, Lord, have mercy. They'll be afraid to say certain things while you're there. Amen. Oh, They'll be afraid to, to talk about you. Amen. Why? Because something is different about you. They know now that you've been with God. you put Push back from the you push back from the from the table. Amen. You you want your relationship with God to develop into a, 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 the, the, a new level, a, a new freshness. Amen. You want to go somewhere. Uh, it's sort of like a uh, 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 Star Trek. Amen. Uh, you want to go where no man has gone before. Amen. You want to step into the presence of God. Amen. And allow God just to begin to do something uh, uh, awesome in you. Amen. Tell your neighbor, uh, if you're going to be just full of it, amen. You've got to go by the right procedures that God has given. <laughs> 40 days and 40 nights. It said Moses, Moses neither uh, ate uh, uh, bread nor drunk, uh, uh, had drink, uh, no water, no nothing. Just 40 days with God. Amen. Uh, some of us think fasting is, 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 is over, but but no, amen. Pox said, uh, I'll stop by to tell you today, amen. I'm, I, I'm about to call a, a corporate fast, amen. Glory. Have mercy. When, when, when God give me the specifics, amen. Glory. Have mercy. We going to go on fast and we going to uh, bombard heaven, amen. We going to move some things, amen. We going to help folks move some mountains in their, in their life. Why? Because we're going to be just full of faith in God. Oh, God. We, we're going to be just full of the will of God. We're going to be just full of the word of God. Amen. Tell somebody I, I'm looking to be just full of it. Just full of it. I refuse to be stagnated. I, I refuse to, to let the enemy uh, 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 keep doing what he does. Amen. Uh, see, if we're going to even get the enemy to move out the way, we got to be just full of it. Amen. We got to be just full of the uh, Holy Ghost. Amen. We we got to be ready to, to move when God say move. Uh, see, Moses didn't, didn't play with the people. Amen. He he didn't sugarcoat nothing. Amen. He, he gave them the truth. Amen. And now the new Moses <laughs> comes out the mountain. Amen. And, and the people are, are afraid to get nigh him simply because his relationship with God has changed. Amen. It, it, it even changed his, his countenance, his, 
appearance, amen, and, and we as God's children, amen, glory, tell me if we're going to be just full of it, y'all, amen, we, we got to go into the Holy of Holies, amen, we got to get into God's presence, amen, we got to push away from the table, amen, and see, because I found out that fasting, amen, it, it, it presses this flesh, amen, in a way that it doesn't want to be pressed, amen, because it makes this flesh give up, amen, and, and when this flesh gives up, amen, the, the, the Holy Spirit can really have its way. Amen. It, it can do things that, that uh, uh, people say couldn't be done. And I'm so glad. Amen. Uh, I'm, I'm going to begin with myself. Amen. To, to just be full of it. Amen. I, 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 I must say, I must say, saints, I must repent. I, I haven't done as much fasting as I should. Amen. But, but God has a way of doing things. Amen. And, 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 and I'm going to get ready to end this by uh, uh, this. Last night I was dreaming. Amen. And, and, and glory. And, and, and I, I, I got pretty loud in the dream called uh, First Lady Vanity Watson woke me up, amen. You know, sometimes you be dreaming, you know, you be fighting, amen. And, and sometimes you glad folks waking you up because you ain't winning, amen. But, but last night, amen, as I was dreaming, amen, glory, have mercy. God began to, to show me this text, amen. And, and he said, when you're just full of it, he said, you, you do things differently, amen. And, 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 and in this dream, amen, I, I, I was pastoring a church, amen. Pastor, don't, 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 don't y'all uh, 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 get uh, uh, any kind of way on me because uh, uh, I, I, I ain't going nowhere, amen. God, God was just dealing with me in a dream, amen. And, and I was pastoring this church, and, and, and for some reason or another, amen, I, I don't know why I didn't have a car or transportation or whatever, but, 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 but this certain deacon would have to come pick me up, amen, and, and, and when the deacon would come pick me up, he'd come pick me up and, and take me to church, amen, and, and so on and so forth, and, and this one particular time, we were headed to church, amen, and when we got there, amen, the deacon in this leadership position, amen, uh, that was a brother there that uh, had did something, and, and this deacon was all over this brother, amen, glory, Helmer, he, he was all over his brother to the point that the brother had turned and walked away like he was leaving the church. Amen. And and, and in the dream, the, the Holy Ghost, amen, uh, 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 got uh, on me and got in me and, and began to work in me and, and had me to go to that deacon. Amen. Uh, uh, and, and, and as I was in front of that deacon, amen, I, I was already just full of the, the glory of God. I was just full of his spirit, amen, and, and the spirit of Lord, listen to what I'm saying now, uh, the spirit of Lord began to speak, amen, and, and as the spirit of the Lord was speaking to this deacon, amen, glory, have mercy, a lot of times we think, uh, we want folks to, to, to act a certain way, we want folks to, to, to react to what we say in a certain manner, and, and, but, but, but it's not for you to determine all that, your, your job is to be like Moses and deliver the word that the Lord say, delivered in. And as I was in front of this deacon, amen, the spirit of the Lord began to just pour out, amen, and, and began to speak to the deacon, amen. And, 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 and I could see the deacon face. He, he, he began to get mad, amen. But, but the more he began to get mad, the more the spirit of the Lord just kept pouring out, amen. And, and as the Lord began to pour out, amen, I saw the countenance of the deacon begin to change, amen, and, and in the countenance of the deacon, in it's changing, amen, the deacon went from being mad and upset, amen, to repenting, amen, and, and after he got through repenting and, and thanking God, amen, he got up and ran down the street, amen, to find that brother that he calls to turn away, amen, and he began to minister unto that brother, amen, and this was almost about the time that first lady began to wake me up, because after the deacon had went and got that brother, amen. I turned around, amen, and I walked in the church, amen. I was just full of the spirit of God, and I began to just cry 
Amen. And tell God how wonderful he is. I began to tell the church, amen, how wonderful God was. I began to just praise and worship God. The tears began to come down my face, amen. And in that dream, I was just crying unto God, amen, because I was just full of knowing that God, oh, oh glory, have mercy, that he is a God that will react. He's a God of action. He's a God, an awesome God, a mighty God. He's a wonderful God, y'all. Just be full of it. Amen. God was saying, just be full of my spirit. Just be full of my will. Just be full of my word. Just be full of it. Amen. The, the more you get of it, amen, the more I continue to do, amen. I bring it from stagnation to, to someone that the people will fear in the aspect that they respect the God that's in you. Amen. Somebody say, just full of it. Just full of it. Church, we've been stagnated for too long. Amen. Uh, always doing something. It seems like we're going nowhere. Amen. Some of that is because, amen, uh, uh, there's no fasting in the church. Amen. Uh, people are stagnating, not developing simply because, amen, we're not using all the tools of God. If we're just going to be full of it, amen. Let's just be full of it in the right direction. Let's just be full of it on our way to heaven, amen. Let's just be full of it for the kingdom. Let's just be full of it for the will of God. Let's just be full of it because of the salvation we've been given. Let's just be full of it. <laughs> in God. Just full of it. Moses was just full of the presence of God. Amen. And we, the church, amen, we need to be just full of it. Amen. Uh, full of the presence of God. We need to get into the Holy of Holies, y'all. Push away from the table. Amen. No, no more time for stagnation. We need to be going forward, developing as the children and the saints of the Most High God. And so we're going to have to push away from the table and, and get into the word and stop worrying about how many pounds you're going to lose physically and, and, and start looking for pounds that you're going to gain spiritually. Because we are going to be just full of it for Jesus Christ. Tell somebody just full of it. Just full of it. Amen. To God be the glory. Holy Ghost said, that's it. Stop. That's what I want them to do. To just be full of it in Christ Jesus. Well, saints, let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this word that has gone forward. God, I thank you, God, for how you have uh, come on in and had and, and had and have had your way in us, God. I pray now, God, that the saints will receive this word, God, that we will begin to push away from the table and fast and get into your presence, God, so that not only we will be delivered from the things that are in us, that we will help people come to a place where they can be delivered in Christ Jesus. We thank you, God. We appreciate you. We love you. And we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Well, saints, it's been a pleasure, amen, uh, to bring this word of God unto you, amen. I thank God for his word. I pray that if we just get into this word and let God have his way, y'all, we'll be a people on the move for God, amen. So, so I'm encouraging you now. Uh, to get ready to push away from the table, to, to do a little fasting with, with, with serving God, amen, uh, to get rid of the stagnation, amen, so that we can be like our brother Moses, that we can have a face that when people see us, they know we've been in the presence of God. They know that we've been in a place with God. We've been at the table with God. That, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're moving forward to in the name of Jesus, amen, amen. amen. So just tell somebody, just full of it. Amen. If, if somebody asks you what's wrong with you, tell them you're just full of it. Amen. Just full of the spirit of the almighty God. Amen. So we just give God glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Can we give him a, 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 a praise with an amen? A hand amen. Amen. Because he is worthy. worthy. He's worthy. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Well, once again, I, 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 I've been privileged and it's been an honor to bring to you this word of God. Amen. amen. Until we see you next time, amen. Be blessed, be thankful, and be in God. Amen.